Kazakhstan, a country in Central Asia, is the largest landlocked country in the world. It borders Russia in the northwest and north, China in the east, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, the Aral Sea, and Turkmenistan. In the south, the Caspian Sea borders Kazakhstan in the southwest. The huge size and diverse landscape of Kazakhstan make it impossible for a single prehistoric culture to exist covering the entire territory. Different regions of modern Kazakhstan have been part of several empires for centuries. Most of the region was part of the Shagatai Ulus state. During the Mongol Empire, 13th to 14th centuries AD, in the late 15th and early 16th centuries, the Kazakhs were able to create a nomadic empire that covered the steppes east of the Caspian Sea, north of the Aral Sea, the upper reaches of the Irtysh, and the western foothills of the Altai Mountains. Kazakhs were feared by all their neighbors. They controlled almost the entire steppe territory and, as they said, they could gather 200,000 horsemen for battle. Most people believe that the creation of an independent Kazakh state, took place during the reign of Kasim Khan. The Ural Mountains to present-day southeastern Kazakhstan were the center of Kazakh power throughout his reign. But as soon as the three sons of Kasim Khan came to power, the Khan's power began to weaken somewhat, and this was accompanied by an even more noticeable tendency to break up the Khanate into three separate hordes. These were, from east to west, the Great Horde. The Middle Horde, in the central steppe region east of the Aral Sea. And the Little Horde between the Aral Sea and the Ural River. The influence of tribal chiefs known as Sultans. Restrained the power of the Khan within each horde. The Khans relied on the favor of Beys. And soldiers, although they nominally commanded. A strong contingent of horsemen. The setbacks the Kazakh people suffered at the hands of the Dzungars certainly slowed down the formation of a unified Kazakh state and further lowered the level of Kazakh culture. Let's go to the period when there was Soviet rule. However, collectivization, enforced by the Soviet government, caused a dramatic decline in the Kazakh population. Between 1926 and 1939, during this time, almost 1.5 million people lost their lives. Most of them, from hunger and related diseases. Although some were victims of aggression. Less than 25% of the thousands of Kazakhs who fled to China. Survived, but less than a quarter survived the journey. Historically, Kazakhs led a nomadic lifestyle. Constantly moving. Kazakhs migrated as a nation and still migrate traveling on horseback and living in traditional yurts. Despite the many influences of the modern world, many people continue to lead an itinerant lifestyle. Ultimately, it is a monument to the perseverance of the Kazakh people in enduring an often hostile environment and climate, and their determination to preserve their ancient way of life. Honor and respect to elders and ancestors is one of the great traditions Every Kazakh is obliged to be familiar with his ancestors through the seventh branch. This information is useful for tracing family ties and preventing close relatives from marrying. One of the important and essential aspects of Kazakh culture is the national dress. The main materials for making clothes in Kazakhstan were felt, cotton and wool. The Kazakh men's costume consisted of an undershirt and pants, a robe, chapan, worn on top and a headdress, kalpak in summer, timak in winter, worn on the head. At the same time, the chapan was considered one of the key components of men's clothing, which signified his rank. Chapans come in different colors and thicknesses. A typical women's outfit was a loose-fitting dress with a camisole or chapan on top. Most women's clothing was made of velvet, 
silk, and calico. There was also thin felt. In cool weather, women wore fur jackets made of lamb or chernoburka. Sokol is a characteristic and traditional headdress. That occupies a significant place in Kazakh traditional clothing. Kazakh brides wore sokol, which was the most expensive and most refined part of the wedding outfit. The cone-shaped sokol was decorated with pearls, coral, turquoise, jewels and tiny coins. A cluster of eagle feathers was located. On top of the sokol, which was about 70 centimeters high. The sokol was matched with unique side pendants, called jacktaw, which were long and reached the waist and below. The traditional diet of the Kazakh people is known as traditional Kazakh cuisine. Lamb and horse meat, along with other dairy products, are the main emphasis. In addition to Kazakhstan, other Central Asian countries, including Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan, also make kazai, a horse sausage. Traditionally, rib meat and fat are used to make sausage. Beshbarmak, literally translated as five fingers, because it is eaten with hands, is the most famous dish served in Kazakhstan for famous guests. Beshbarmak is served on a large round dish, with small pieces of pasta and horse meat or lamb. Tea is a popular drink. In Kazakhstan, they like to drink tea several times a day. They usually drink black tea with milk, sometimes with lemon. In addition, there are classic Kazakh drinks such as Aran, Ryazanka made from cow's milk, Shubat, Ryazanka made from camel's milk, and Kumis, Ryazanka made from mare's milk. Kazakhstan is the cradle of all cultivated apple trees in the world. In the foothills of Dzungarsky Alatau, in the south of Kazakhstan grows a wild Sievers tree, from which more than 10.5 thousand varieties of apple trees that are used today arose. The fruit is believed to have traveled around the world, in part thanks to trade along the Silk Road, finally reaching North America via European settlers. With the development of new varieties over time, apples have become one of the most widely grown fruits in the world. Due to their strength and resistance, Sievers type apple trees are credited with being the ancestor of all apples around the world. These are just some of the unusual and unusual natural creatures that can be found in Kazakhstan. The golden eagle is the recognized national animal of Kazakhstan. Among the largest predators in the world is the golden eagle. Female eagles weigh an average of 11 pounds and male eagles weigh just under 8 pounds. In the wild, these eagles live for 30 years. Large carnivores can be found in Kazakhstan, including lynxes, bears, and snow leopards. Snow leopards stand out among them. They are still almost unknown and understudied, despite recent technological advances. Due to their ability to deftly hide among the uneven rock formations of mountainous areas, it is unlikely that a typical person will find himself in a dangerous situation in nature. And also the rarest is the Caspian seal. It is unique among marine mammals, as it is found only in the Caspian Sea, which borders Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is home to poisonous snakes, including rattlesnakes, adders, poisonous spiders such as the black widow, and scorpions. You will have a much better time in Kazakhstan if you can pick up a few basic words and phrases in the Kazakh language. This allows you to establish a closer relationship with local residents and gain a deeper understanding of their way of life. Here are some useful Kazakh phrases. Salem. Hi. Ramat. Which means thank you. Kosh Keldin is. You're welcome. Kerli Tan. Which means good morning. Tamak. Is translated as food. Menon Adam. My name is. Satalik. Good luck. Kazakhstan is a special place. 
where people of more than 130 different nationalities call it home. The population of Kazakhstan is diverse, consisting of ethnic Europeans, mainly Russians, but also Ukrainians, and Germans, and Asian groups, mainly Kazakhs, but also Uzbeks, Tatars and Uyghurs. Kazakhs make up about two-thirds of the current population of Kazakhstan. Every Kazakh knows his ancestral horde, big, middle or small, and hardly ever marries outside his tribe. Kazakhstan has rich natural resources, goods related to agriculture, raw materials, chemicals and industry are its main export goods. Oil production is the main driver of Kazakhstan's economy, which makes it too dependent on it. The largest productions are the massive Kashigan field, which began production in 2016, and the Tengiz field. Since independence, Kazakhstan's economy has developed quite steadily thanks to its huge oil reserves. Kazakhstan is trying to use railway construction to diversify its economy in an effort to reduce its heavy dependence on oil. Kazakhstan is trying to invest its oil wealth in other businesses. Kazakhstan consumes 422,000 barrels of oil per day. Although industry plays a significant role in Kazakhstan's economy, it employs less than 10% of the country's indigenous population. The manufacturing sector, which mainly employs workers from Russia and Ukraine, produces cement, rolled steel, and cast iron. Kazakhstan's space program is a dynamic and large-scale initiative that began in the former Soviet Union. Kazakhstan focused on building and operating communication satellites, as well as acquiring and using satellites. With help from other countries, Baikonur is the largest space launch complex in the world. In the mid-1950s, the Soviet Union began construction of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Russia currently leases and manages the adjacent territory. In 1957, the world's first successful satellite launch took place from here. The nation even maintains its own space postal service. When Kazakhstan declared Kazakh the official language of the country in 1989, even though the 1995 constitution also recognized Russian, Kazakhstan began to exert a significant influence on the future of education. Many young Kazakhs hardly understood their native language, as they studied only in Russian. The shift to the Kazakh language affected media related to public education, including television and film, newspapers, textbooks, and classroom instruction. In addition, while the number of Russian language schools has decreased, the number teaching Kazakh has increased. But there are still many people who speak Russian. In addition, chess has recently become much more popular in this country. The number of chess schools to which parents willingly send their children is increasing. This Kazakh school program is for students of grades 1 to 4. Kazakhstan has been used as a filming location for famous films due to its breathtaking scenery, including Nomad, The Warrior to Admire, Tamiris, Long Way Round, Hacker, Day Watch, The Needle, Ivan the Terrible, Hunting the Phantom. You can choose to believe or not believe. In faith, it is a superstitious tradition. That comes from the experience and customs of the people. Each country has its own superstitions, which its citizens adhere to in different ways. While some people still hold to their beliefs, others believe they should be consigned to the past. Here are the most interesting superstitions of Kazakhstan. A woman carrying a child is not recommended to cross a taut rope. Legend has it that a newborn could suffocate. If his neck got twisted in the umbilical cord, it is believed that holding a saw, scissors or other sharp instrument in the hands of a pregnant woman increases the risk of premature birth. Kazakhs would never cut down or otherwise harm a solitary tree. 
He's not going to sleep in its shadow. Or worse, spend the night under it. To do otherwise would be to become as stupid and destitute. As this tree, and loneliness is the worst of all tragedies. The embodiment of malice. The lonely tree wishes the worst on someone. They should not look in the mirror at night. You will become less attractive and charming. Your body will deteriorate and your eyes will become stern if you look. Designed to withstand the harsh temperatures of the Central Asian steppe, the content features a distinctive neo-futuristic style, resembling a massive light tent. From a boating river to a miniature golf course, the area offers a wealth of retail and recreational opportunities. Designed by British architect Norman Foster, it is the tallest tent structure in the world. In fact, there are countless shops, offices, grocery stores, cafes, restaurants, playgrounds, and family parks, theaters, and a man-made water park. This is a great place for shopping. Candy Lake, one of the 15 most picturesque lakes in the world, is a fascinating work of nature. This place is located 300 kilometers southeast of Almaty in Kazakhstan. The peaks rising from the sea are really the trunks of dried spruce trees. The trees in the high mountain lake drown themselves. The stunning blue water of the lake combined with the trees create a truly attractive picture. The main attraction of Altanemel National Park is the singing dunes. Singing dunes have high slopes and resemble mountains, composed entirely of quartz sand without vegetation. Dry sand makes a long, rattling sound as it moves. Because the granules scrape against each other, a soft chant is heard. For this reason, they were dubbed singing sands. There are very few places on earth where you can observe such an unusual natural phenomenon. Listen for yourself, it sounds like something unreal. Previously, the Aral Sea of Central Asia was a huge salt lake. It crosses the border between Kazakhstan in the north and Uzbekistan in the south. The Aral Sea, which is shallow, was once the fourth largest body of water in the world. Its remnants nestle east of the Caspian Sea, in the climatically hostile heart of Central Asia. Scientists are increasingly concerned about the Aral Sea and its disappearing volume. Due to a sharp decrease in both its area and volume that began in the second half of the 20th century, when the area was still part of the Soviet Union, and has continued into the 21st century. Friends, I hope you enjoyed my documentary video about Kazakhstan. If you want to know more interesting facts and travel stories, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Press the bell to get notified about new videos. Which country you want to see in the next video, please let us know in the comments section. Thank you for your attention, and see you again on my channel.